Hey guys, Choi Sauce here with another video for King of Fighters 13. Uh, today we're going to talk about some uh, characters in the game that would be really uh, that would be really good for Street Fighter players, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, mainly, you know, showing you a couple of characters I feel like are really good for uh, people who are more used to the, the slower nature of Street Fighter and the more methodical playstyle that comes with that game. Um, you know, a lot of people pick their characters based on looks, you know, like how cool they are, or, or you know, however they, their personalities seem like to you. Uh, a lot of people pick depending on their mechanics and, like, you know, whatever, like, special properties they have for their moves. Or maybe, like, nostalgia factor, because I know there's definitely a lot of Terry players around here, even though Terry's not the best of characters in this iteration of the game. Uh, but what, I'll, what we're going to look at today is... Uh, the characters based on their playstyle. So a lot of people want to kind of stick with their s same style, and uh, they they know what's what kind of style they like to play. You know, like keep away or rush down or you know things of that nature. So we're gonna talk about uh, four characters, and that's gonna be Andy, Rio, Psyche, and Mr. Karate. So first we're gonna. Take a look at Andy. So Andy, uh, I like to think of him as like KOF's version of Ken. Uh, he, he has a fireball and also a DP, but they're not that great. Uh, I mean, they they are definitely useful for the the fireball DP bait game, but they're not as strong as some other characters in the game. Uh, where he excels most is his uh, his frame traps. So. Uh, he doesn't really have any like forward moving normals like Ken does, but he has this tool to kind of get in, which is the Zynekin. It's done with down back to forward with punch. Uh, let's turn on some of the meter. Show you the inputs. Alright. Yeah, so he has really good jump ins. His jump D to cross up, and it's really good for jumping in. And uh, like I said, his frame traps are really good. Like, you can do crouch BBB, and. If they're blocking that, you could go for this crouch D, which is really fast, and it also will tag people that are kind of that are trying to jump out of the jump, jump out of this mix-up. Jump CD being really good has a really nice and big hitbox, and uh, pokes not aren't exactly the best, but like where he excels is like getting in really close, mixing it up with some throws too, and uh, here's a. This DP is actually really good. It covers a lot of space. Yeah, and you can see the fireballs there. He actually has quite a bit of recovery on the fireballs, but you know the fireballs are meant, mainly meant for you know causing your opponent to jump over them and basically you know get a get a reaction out of them for it. All right, so let's talk about some of his tools. So uh, like like I've shown you, the, his pressure tools like best with crouch B and you could combo into the Zynekin like that. Um, also pretty decent on block as well. Uh, it's I think minus around 7 or 8 or something like that. So it's definitely punishable on block but uh, if you're playing against someone who's still kind of learning the game or isn't as seasoned as other people then you know, you're not going to see this, this string punished as much. So it's, it's, it's on the more difficult side to punish, that's for sure. Um, also, Jump D being really good for pressure, and also Jump CD. All the Jump CDs in this game give a lot of block stun, so they'll just, you know... If they have to block this, then they're they're eating some of whatever pressure that you're going to be laying onto them. Um, Crouch D is probably his best poke. Like the, the, his other normal is pretty slow. I mean, they're, they're pretty far-reaching, but pretty slow. So you just usually want to get pretty close with this fast run speed. Um, Anti-airs, uh, stand A will probably be the, the anti-hop button for him, and you want to use the the DPs accordingly, because as with any fireball character, everyone's going to want to jump, so you're going to have to just tag him. Okay, so let's talk about some of the BNBs. Uh, so I'm just going to give you enough to be able to just kind of jump in and you know play around with the characters and you know be able to get some BNBs and also do a decent amount of damage with some uh, like metered combos. So this is his main BNB, which is Crouch BBB into the Zynekin. 
just like that. And then they, they're gonna roll out of it. You could like run throw them right after. And also another one you could do is uh, just, uh, close C forward A. Do that into the brakes. And then you would do a uh, ADP into oh uh, A Zanikin into DP. So let's try that again. Oops. So that's a good corner combo for you there. Or if you're close to the corner, it, it'll also work. Um, so that's good. Good amount of damage and no meter spent for that. So uh, let's show you a metered one. So. So this one actually works mid-screen and in the corner, so let's just show you this. I don't know how to super. Ah, okay, there it goes. One more time. I actually don't use Andy, so... Alright, there it goes. That's the combo. If you delay the super a little bit more, it'll do a little bit more damage. Oops. Yeah, and you get that 326 right there. So that's the combo right there. Crouch BVB, A Zynekin, Drive Cancel into this, uh, with the break, and then the super. So that's uh, Andy in a nutshell. So really good for people who you know want to play that vanilla, like straightforward, uh, straightforward game with, with pressure, and not relying too much on the fireball in, in the DP game. All right, next character we're gonna look at is Rio, and this guy is a tank. Like I like to think of him as like. E Honda with the with the Dan Fireball, which is actually good. Not not like a Dan's actual fireball, which is really crappy. So he has a Ken like DP, uh, like that online Ken DP, where if, once once he does it, it's actually really hard to punish because the recovery is just so good. See, look, he lands right there and he just walk just right in in that amount of time. Really good. Uh, has a lot of good pokes and he has this really strong fireball. No, he has a super fireball and this Ron Boo super, which is actually pretty useful. A little on the slower side, but there's a lot of damage. Uh, uh, so his main game is that he wants to use uh, his normal pressure you and just force you to has to block a lot of stuff and it does a lot of guard damage and his frame traps are also really strong so this kick comes out really really fast and I believe it hits low so it's such it's a really really good tool and also this you can also cancel that in the super which is really really good and what makes him unique is that he has parries so they're actually armor and, and not exactly parries but you could cancel that. Uh, if he gets hit, you can cancel into a special move right away. So the, the go-to special move would either be uh, this kick right here or the DP. Most of the times I see people go for this because it's so fast and you know if you're already blocking something, you know they're not gonna be able to get, a, get out an attack you know in the time that this would come out. And then you could also do that and get like a DP in right there. So, so that works, and this is a low parry, this is a high parry, high and mid parry. Um, the best tools he has, you know, stand D as his, as a good, really good poke. And also for pressure, you could cancel into the fireball, and it's actually relatively safe. They would have to guard cancel roll if they need, a, if they need a, to punish that. Also jump CD being really pretty decent for, for pressure as well, since they're gonna, it's going to put him in a lot of blocks then. Uh, anti airs crouch C is really really good. Uh, you know if they want to jump out of if you're staying at this range and they want to jump out of the corner, just put them right back in. 
No. DP being really good. It's not it's not all that invincible, but you know, it'll reset the situation so that you can so you won't be losing the advantage. Uh, good pokes. Stand C and stand D like we said. Sweep is actually also really really good. Uh, you'll see get people getting tagged by this a lot because you know they'll want to backdash or um, you know they'll want to like try to move left and right against him, and this is gonna just tag him because like, from here it doesn't look like the range is super deceptive. Like the range is super long. <laughs> like I, I'm always surprised whenever I, I get hit by this normal. All right, so let's talk about a couple of his uh, BNB. So his main BNB really is only just this this fireball. And then uh, in the corner, you can also do that, which does a little bit more damage. Yeah, so his combos uh, aren't the best, but he that he like his normals have a lot of priority. Jump D also also really good. Um, so let's talk. Let's show you a meter combo. So so that is actually really strong for the amount of meter you spend. Almost 600 damage. All you gotta do is stand D with the EX kicks, CDP into a super. So I did the EX super there, which would cost two bars, but even this level one super it does 449. It's like almost half their health. Really easy. Whoops. And I think something like that works mid screen as well. Let's check. Works mid screen as well. So really, really good. Yeah. So that's Rio in a, in a nutshell. So we'll move on to the next character. Next character is one of my mains, uh, which is Psyche. Psyche is such a. It's a very underrated character. Uh, he doesn't do too much damage unless he's in the corner. But the amount of damage he does for the amount of meter he spends is definitely worth it. So he spends very little meter and can do tons and tons of damage. So I like to think of him as kind of like Ryu, but with like a better mobility. So like in the air, he can try to jump at you and just like you know bait like a like a reversal or something that they want to do, and it's very tricky that way. And also his jump D is a very good jump in normal with the, the cross up hitbox. And then he also has a fireball and. A, the, his DP is actually pretty bad, really slow startup and not that much priority, but he has one of the best anti-air supers in the game. That super is really, really fast and has high priority. Uh, so the, the basic pokes that he has, uh, Crouch B being probably his best one, uh, Far D, really, really good, very abusable, fast and comes out and recovers almost like instantly, like super fast, really hard to punish. Jump CD being really good, and also Jump A is very, very good. Uh, he has a normal jump, and he could cancel into a target combo for, for added pressure, and this also could combo into that. Um, Anti-airs that he has, uh, you know, this is probably his best anti-air with the super. Uh, if you can't react in time, EX, super, EX uh, DP is actually pretty decent too. Not as much damage, but you know, easier to react with. And Crouch C is an excellent anti-air, uh, so it also can cancel into a fireball for extra pressure. Um, and then some people say that this would be a good anti-air, but on it, this is only good for uh, corner situations, and I'll show you in a bit why. Uh, so his basic game plan is, you know, you want to pester them from far with the fireballs and make them want to do stuff. And then if they if they jump late enough, then you can just like hit them with the super or with the DP. Um, but your main goal is to push him towards the corner so you can get combos like uh, really really good combos um, So with that, I'm going to show you some of his BNBs so His most basic BNB being crouch, crouch, crouch BBB into the B donkey kick Just like that uh, Another one he has uh, Would be For the corner you can Do something like that
Oops, hold on. Something like that. So it's close C, D donkey kick, D teleport, back air back B into the B uh, DP. There's a way to get to get it so that you can do the D DP and then get that extra damage, but there's a very particular timing with it. Um, so but let's get to his metered combo. This is where he shines. So uh, let's show this one. Something like that. So that did one for one bar, one drive off of a crouch B, you get like 400 damage. So it's crouch B, B, EX fireball, D donkey kick, hold the D, do that, D donkey kick, and then you just you know, kind of repeat that over and over again if you want, or just for t twice if you have the meter. Uh, well, one more time, that crouch BB, EX, D donkey kick into the D teleport, you're gonna come down, do that, uh, B, DP into the C air fireball, back into another donkey kick with the D teleport, back B, uh, the fireball at the end is a little hard to time, so if you're, if you're unsure, just go, go ahead and go for the D, DP instead after coming down from this, so that variation looks like this. So sacrifice a little damage, but it's definitely way easier. Uh, so there's that. Uh, he also uh, the one big strength he has is also is like very good corner control. Like he wants to stay around this range and pester you, and uh, and then just throw that in. And uh, the biggest strength of him being a, such a good corner controller is that he has this move. So if they jump. If you read a jump, you get this combo right here. Something like that. And that was one bar, one drive for you know half their life for wanting to jump. So very, very good, very powerful. Yeah, so that's Psyche. Uh, very good for corner control and very controlled uh, corner control. So. And if you make that read for that jump, then man, you're gonna get totally rewarded for it. Alright, and the last character we're gonna talk about is everyone's favorite, Mr. Karate. It's gonna cost you $5 to play him, but it's definitely worth the $5. Because he is definitely one of the be better characters of the game. Alright, so Mr. Karate being uh, very much like Ryu in the sense that uh, he wants you to jump and he wants you to, you know, punish. You know, punish with like DPs. And he also has like amazing jump normals. Like this, this cross up, this crosses up and does everything for you. That's a good air to air. And the jump CD is like almost uncontestable. But no, his only r real weakness hint is that he doesn't really have any good standing pokes or his best poke probably being just the, this sweep. Um, so we'll, we'll just talk about his normals real quick. Uh, good, his pressure tools being with like, crouch B, and then you can also go to the stand, the forward A, and that actually like is a really long block string that you can frame trap into. So you'll see a lot of players do this, and then frame trap that stand, stand B into the forward A for, to confirm into a combo. Um, jump CD being really good for pressure, and also jump D uh, for you know crossing them up and also just as a general jump in. Uh, anti airs ADP is probably one of the best in the game. Has actually hits people that are trying to cross up as well. Which is pretty cheap. And also, Crouch C is pretty decent as an anti-air, but this is definitely one of the best. 
And then pokes, uh, really you only have crouch C, or crouch D, which is a sweep, and then maybe stand C, which is pretty decent. And, uh, so yeah, let's talk about some of his B and B. So you got crouch B, B, stand B. Crouch B, B, stand B, forward A, and then fireball. That's like the really easy one that works everywhere. Um, and then we got one that, you see this, hold on. So that's, you get three DPs right there. So you do just close C, forward B, C, C, DP. CDP with the break, and then two ADPs, and that gives you 270 for for no meter at all. Uh, some of the metered su uh, supers that he has, uh, you'll see this one quite often, especially on people's wake up. You do ADP, ADP into the B Cadillac kick, and then right into super. So. You know, for a, for a DP, and then hit confirming into that, and then into a super, super good. And I guess only EX super works with that. Well, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, if you do the A, a version of the super, it'll work. So really good damage for for getting a getting a correct guess for the DP. Really good. Uh, so. You could do the similar thing with that earlier combo. Same thing, AD, A super or that EX super, either one will work. Yeah, so that's pretty much Mr. Cardi in a nutshell. Like, similar, he has a similar game plan to Psyche in that he wants to keep you in this space. Uh, you know, just kind of throw fireballs and, you know, make you get really nervous about staying in the corner. And when he wants to jump out, just DP. And then, uh, if there's anything that happens that they, you know, that you can react to, you can just go ahead and EX super. He has probably one of the best EX supers in the game. Really fast and invincible, really invincible, and it goes through like everything. So that's pretty much Mr. Karate in a nutshell. So uh, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over some of the other characters that you guys might like. Uh, just gonna mention them and kind of, kind of talk about them really br briefly. Uh, first one being like Kenso, very much like a Ryu, except he has Rekkas as, as well. Uh, ha has a good pressure game, not as good as a poke game, but his fireball DP game is definitely one of the best in the game. Um, next character being uh, King, like I liken her to being Sagat with air fireballs, and that's super cheap because you know her zoning game is super strong. And she also has really good pressure, uh, better pressure than like, I would say Sagat has in Street Fighter 4. So definitely I would consider her one of the more top tier characters that don't seem like she's top tier. Because her damage output is a little lower than other characters, but m more than makes up for, for the abil her ability to zone. Uh, next character would be Robert. Robert, uh, definitely very underrated. He's kind of like Ryu with a uh, dive kick. Uh, dive kick for him is not super safe unless it's spaced pretty well, but a lot of characters have trouble punishing it. Uh, he has one on the on the ground that kind of chases after people too. Um, so he has a decent fireball DP game, not as strong as I would say Kenso, but it's definitely effective. Uh, and the next one we have Clark. Clark is kind of like Abel. Uh, he's a grappler, but he has like some of the best jumping normals in the game. Um, he, his jump CD is like almost like impossible to anti-air. Like uh, it's really hard to figure out if anything really does beat it because not a lot of DPS in the game are as invincible as uh, as others. But you know, like the trade would always be in his favor, which is really good. And uh, he has armor on his on his grabs and also has really fast grabs. Uh, his biggest advantage is that if you put him on point. If you were to kill a character with mostly grabs, then they're gonna get like zero meter, while you're gonna have all the meter that you want. So that's kind of the reward for for playing Clark. All right, next up we have Billy. Billy is kind of like uh, Cody with like a DP, uh, mainly in the sense that he has very annoying pressure. So when he's up close, he has frame traps on frame traps. Like, like it doesn't do as much damage as Cody would but it's just very pesky and it's just very annoying and 
when the when when a ability player uh, feels like oh, you know, this guy wants to counter poke, he can go ahead and do his DP, which is actually difficult to punish unless you actually know uh, the proper way to do it. Um, you can find out some other tutorials about how to punish Billy's DP, but it's really difficult for someone who's not very familiar with it. Uh, next character will be Mature. Uh, where should she go? Over here. Mature. She is a lot like um, Fei Long, except she has a fireball and a, and a really long traveling DP. Like, her... She probably has some of the best records in the game because it's really difficult to punish and she pushes out uh, players uh, out of the, the punish zone whenever she uses them. So you'll see a lot of mature players blow up, you know, really good players because you know she's kind of underplayed. So it's really difficult to figure out, you know, when is it when it's okay to go ahead and counter poke her or try to contest her. So she's really good for that. Really has extremely good pressure. Uh, Next character would be Terry. Terry is really good uh, because he has amazing normals. His stand C and stand D like are really far and pretty fast normals, and they hit pretty hard. Um, I would say he's kind of like a faster Mokoto, but he just doesn't have a command grab. Uh, so he, as yeah, his normals are is what really makes him really good, uh, and. And, and also, since, pe since people consider him kind of low tier, you know, they, they might not take him as seriously as other people, but he's definitely a, a force to be reckoned with in, in the right hands. Next character would be Mai. Mai is actually kind of a lot like uh, what I would say, like, kind of like Vega with a, a fireball. Uh, she relies a lot on pokes and really pestering the opponent with her normals. Uh, her stand A and jump A are like really really good. Uh, it's really hard to anti air because they could just come out so fast. Uh, stand C and stand D are really good, really good pokes. And uh, you know her her game is basically to annoy the heck out of you, and uh, you know make you run into her effective range, and uh, you know basically to keep you out. Like she has a very specific range where she's really good. And uh, you always want to kind of stay at that range. That's what makes her a little bit more difficult of a character to play. Uh, most characters, you know, they either want to stay really out or stay really in. She kind of wants to stay in the middle, which is, makes it a little bit more difficult. But she's definitely really good for people who want to play more methodically, uh, more of the, the footsie game, the, the traditional ground-based footsie game that a lot of people, a lot, a lot of Street Fighter players like to play. Uh, next up, we have Maxima. Maxima is really good. Uh, he's kind of like a faster T-Hawk with armor because you know he has a command grab. He has uh, really hard-hitting normals and far-reaching ones, um, but he's not as fast as like the rest of the cast. That's just kind of what makes him kind of a, a weaker character. So people can kind of run circles around him, and uh, he has a really big problem with dealing with lows because uh, a lot of his armor stuff doesn't is not doesn't go through low attacks. So anybody with good lows could kind of blow him up. Um, but he has a lot of cool swag combos, and uh, and he has a jump in where, uh, you know, you gotta let him jump in because he has this one ex move that blows up any kind of anti air normal or anti air that you know you, you try to do against him. So if you like to you know just bully people, then you might like uh, pick a Maxima. Uh, next up would be Athena. Athena, I uh, can sh she's kind of like what I would like to describe is. El Fuerte with a fireball. Uh, her her mix-up game comes from her spacing uh, like away from the character. So she wants to run forward, run back, you know, confuse the enemy, and uh, you know, ma make them unsure about what what you really want to do. Uh, and then she also has like one of the best and fastest recovering fireballs in the game. So she's really good for zoning, and she also has a really good command grab. So she's definitely a scary character because you know you just make them kind of hesitant of what they want to do and make them make a mistake. So that's kind of Athena right there. And then also we have Joe. He's good for Street Fighter players. Uh, I feel he kind of reminds me of like DJ. He doesn't exactly have like the, like the best zoning game or like the best up close game, but he wants to control people at a certain distance. Um, you know he make he, he's gonna want you to jump. Uh, to bait 
you know, like, he has a, a, a EX fireball, which will make you, make sure you hit at least one or two of them. If you're gonna jump, try to predict like a fireball and jump over that. And also, he has probably some of the best corner control in the game. You know, his, uh, his normals are built for people that kind of want to jump out and you're just gonna keep them back in. Uh, same goes for uh, K-Dash and also for Kula. K-Dash being more uh, frame trap heavy in the corner, uh, using like the flame attack that he has. Uh, and he also wants to read if people want to jump out of the corner by using like an up, follow, uh, up kick follow up that he has with that flame. Uh, so he definitely plays a more controlled corner pressure game where you know, you're trying the opponent's patience. Uh, similar with Kula, except she has a bit. Uh, she has other tools that allow you to do that. She mixes it up between which ice breath that she does, and also like the really big normals that she has. And she wants to play a bit of a slower, uh, slower frame trap game than K Dash does. And then uh, last one would probably be Ash. Uh, she is just like uh, what most people would think is kind of like Guile. She has or he has charge moves and uh, a flash kick. Uh, not as good as Guile's would be, but uh, it's definitely effective for, for the zoning game. Um, he also has like uh, these kiss flames that kind of control the screen and make you want to sit where you are and not move as much and it forces you to play a slow game against Ash. So those are the characters. Uh, so those are all the characters I feel like are really good for Street Fighter, char uh, Street Fighter players. Uh, you know, try them out and see you know which one fits your style. Uh, you know, you might like some of the other characters I didn't mention, but I, I feel like the ones that I did mention are really very suitable for people who want to play more of the methodical or uh, read-based uh, game that Street that Street Fighter is. And uh, I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for the descriptions I gave to the characters about you know who they're kind of similar to, but they're kind of just my opinion about what their play style is similar to. Um, of course, they're not exactly the same because it's, you know the game is different, the system is really different. But hopefully, you know, it gives you some insight about what character you might want to try out. So, um, if you have any more questions or uh, if you want any more content like this, you know, feel free to hit me up at choicesauce 85 That's C H O Y S A U C E eight uh, five on Twitter, and you can also hit up you know Butex or the Cross Counter team to see if they you know. If they, if you'd like to see them produce more KOF stuff, uh, but you know, I like to take this opportunity to thank them also, you know, for giving me this opportunity to share some KOF knowledge with all of you guys. So, uh, with that, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.